You have many stakeholders who depend on your Liquor instance. And your stakeholders have many new ideas and new functionality they want on top of the Liquor platform. How can you implement these new ideas? You could develop a whole new web app, set up the infrastructure, and figure out how to integrate the app with Looker. Or instead, you can use the Looker extension framework to speed up your development. Your Looker instance can instead serve as the infra to host your web application and integrate Looker functionality like auth and API access directly with your app so you can focus on the important business logic. Hi, welcome to our video series on developing with Looker and Looker Studio. I'm Jeremy, a Senior Developer Relations Engineer at Looker. In this video, we'll get you started with developing with Looker extensions. We'll introduce what Looker extensions are and their use cases. Next, we'll teach you how to develop an extension. Then, we'll introduce you to a couple of extensions available on our Looker Marketplace that serve as great examples of what you can build. Lastly, we'll highlight how the extension SDK can help you develop faster. By the way, a quick knowledge check. You should be familiar with JavaScript, full stack development, and creating a Lookml project. So, what are Looker extensions? A Looker extension is a custom-built JavaScript web application hosted by and integrated with Looker. Think of an extension like a plugin for your Looker instance. The Looker extension framework helps you focus less on the infrastructure needed and more on the business logic of your Looker-oriented app. As an extension, your application can access the Looker API through a pre-authenticated client and make use of the same Looker host's authentication options like password login, LDAP, and more. Your application can also fetch from third-party endpoints using your Looker host as a proxy. And since an extension is in JavaScript, you can make use of other JavaScript libraries, including Looker ones like the Looker Embed SDK to embed Looker content into your extension or Looker components to add pre-built React components to your app. The possibilities are endless. So what can you use Looker extensions for? A Looker extension can serve as an internal data platform application for your company. Think of it as a custom-built landing page for all your data stakeholders. Conversely, an extension can serve as an external platform too and can be embedded into other applications for your customers. It's also a great way to create useful internal tools, which we'll cover a few great examples later in this video. Lastly, you can embed an extension directly into a Looker dashboard as a tile and or visualization. You can augment Looker dashboard functionality with whatever customization you want. Now, how do you build an extension? We'll mainly focus on the Looker side of things in this video. You first need to create a Lookamro project that satisfies three conditions. The project must be connected to a Git repository or a bare repository. The project must have a model file with the connection parameter pointing to a database connection. The actual connection does not matter though. And lastly, there must be a manifest.lookml file, which we will delve into further. Inside your manifest.lookml file, it must have an application parameter which contains subparameters that allows Looker to treat your Lookml project as an extension. First, you need the label subparameter to define the name of your extension. Then, you need the file subparameter which defines the path to the extension's JavaScript inside the project. Alternatively, you can replace it with the URL subparameter to have Looker load the JavaScript from your own server for easy local development. Then, you have the mount point subparameter that determines if the extension will be a standalone application or other options like a dashboard tile. And lastly, you have the entitlement subparameter. This defines all the privileges or resources your extension needs to function. Some example entitlements include access to local storage, access to specific Looker API methods, or 
access to external API endpoints. With your Lookml project properly set up and your application JavaScript coded, you can start testing out your extension inside your own Looker instance. On the topic of coding your application, let's introduce you to the Looker extension SDK. Let's walk through a high-level example of using the SDK. First, you connect your application to the Looker host with the connect extension host method. The returned extension SDK object provides a bridge to a lot of extension functionality. You can use the object's local storage get item and local storage set item methods to access the extension's local storage. You can retrieve information about the Looker host from the object's Looker host data property. You can use the user attribute get item and user attribute set item methods to customize your extension's user experience by getting and setting the user's attributes and configurations. As mentioned earlier, you can call Looker API methods with the pre-authenticated client returned from the create client method. We've only covered some of the extension SDK's functionality. Use the SDK to unlock many integrations with your extension's Looker host. Now we've given you an overview of developing extensions, let's go over a couple of marketplace extensions that shows the possibilities of the Looker extension framework. The Looker Data Dictionary is an extension that serves as a centralized platform to search and explore all your Looker fields and descriptions. It serves as a dictionary of all metrics so your users can understand each one. It makes it easy for your stakeholders to find the metrics they need. The extension also helps you govern your data by letting you audit the names and descriptions of your metrics. Lastly, it allows all your users to come together and share comments and discuss about your Looker metrics. We also have the Looker LookML Diagram extension that visually depicts the relationships between LookML objects in your Looker instance. The extension enables you to understand the structure of your LookML model, identify incorrect logic, reducing the chances of incorrect calculations and poor query performance, and illuminate areas where you can optimize your LookML to improve your query performance. Both of these extensions serve as great examples of tools that solve specific problems for your data stakeholders. We hope we gave you a good understanding of how you can develop Looker extensions. If you want to get started, try out these few steps. Install both of the previously mentioned extensions from the Looker Marketplace and give them a try. Then get your hands dirty. Try out and extend our Kitchen Sink extension in your local environment. The extension contains examples of a variety of possibilities. Lastly, check out our extension developer documentation so you can get started on creating your own extensions. You can find all the links in the description below. Look forward to more videos as we introduce you to other ways you can develop on Looker and Looker Studio. We'll see you in the next one.